Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our flex fuel tuning they're going to be doing with our GM Gen 3 ECU. Now, the first thing we need to kind of establish and go over here is that there are going to be two different situations with our flex fuel. First, if we have a truck PCM they're going to be tuning, chances are that we're going to have the flex fuel strategy built into the operating system they're going to be using. So that means all we have to do is add a flex fuel sensor, wired into our ECU, move into a certain section of the calibration file, turn on that flex fuel sensor, and then populate some tables, and we're gonna have flex fuel working just as easy as that. Now I'm gonna be walking you through how to go in and fill the tables out in a truck-based PCM. Now we're also gonna be finding if we have a Camaro or a Corvette, we're not gonna have this flex fuel in our operating system strategy. And what we're gonna to have to do is import a new operating system strategy into our ECU from a flex fuel based truck and then go in and change all of our tables so that it suits that Camaro or Corvette and we're going to be able to begin our tuning process and we can use the flex fuel feature in those particular ECUs. So I'm going to be going over both situations so we clearly understand what to do and what we're going to need to enable and turn on so we can make flex fuel work. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's jump in here and get started and talk about our flex fuel tuning feature we're going to be finding with our GM Gen 3 ECU. Now, the first thing we need to know is that not all of the operating systems or the PCMs are flex fuel compatible right out of the box. So this particular file we're going to be starting with and looking at is going to be our Chevy Avalanche file. This truck is not a flex fuel truck, but it has the capability in our operating system for this Chevy Avalanche to add a flex fuel sensor on. So let's jump into engine here. Let's jump over into fuel, and then if we look at our tabs here, all the things we can click on, we're going to see flex fuel here at the end. Now, when we have a flex fuel compatible uh, ECU and operating system, we're going to find that this tab is here. If we're going to be opening up a Camaro or a Corvette calibration file, we're going to be seeing that the flex fuel tab here is missing because that operating system is not going to be flex fuel compatible. We're going to be finding that we have to go in and do a operating system swap. We're going to be taking a look at that in this video of how to do that and understand what the process is about. But for this truck PCM, all I have to do in order to have a flex fuel sensor added to my vehicle and take advantage of this flex fuel tuning feature is just simply go into general here, go in and turn it from disable to enable, and then I have to add my flex fuel sensor. So um, you're going to have to go into the flex fuel pinout that's available at the ECU and add